I'm gonna tell you something, brothers. With the way the world is moving right now, with the, with the craziness that's taking place on the globe, brothers, it is crucial that if you have a woman in your life, it is crucial to know she's down for you, brothers. And what I mean is when I'm talking about, when I'm talking about that journey that every man must take to be successful, to be enlightened, to be made aware. But I'm going to tell you, if you're on that journey and the woman on your team is not really on your team, it's just a matter of time before she brings you back to square one. It's just, it's just a matter of time before she drags you back to the bottom. It's, it's just a matter of time before she, take, before, she, before she takes you through some, some situation that's uncalled for. You know, I think about, I think about uh, the brother Papoose and his wife Remy and, and other brothers like him. A man that has been, been there for a woman all this time. The brother was there when this woman was locked up. The, one, the brother has had a child with the woman. The, the brother has been faithful for all these years and she ended up stepping out. I'm telling you, man, there are signs and symptoms to see if a woman is really on your team or not, man. But the real question is, are you down for yourself, brothers? Because you can't expect for somebody else to be down for you if you aren't down for yourself. Meaning, meaning, do you love yourself? Are you putting yourself first? Meaning, when you wake up, are you, are you, are you acting better? Are you being better? Are you loving yourself? Are you looking better? I'm going to tell you, today's sponsor, man, Tease Hanley, is all about making every single man better. And that's why I'm glad to partner with Tease Hanley on today's video. Brothers, if you've been watching my videos for some while now, you've already seen the skin transformation. You already know that Tease Hanley is king of skin care. Why do you say that, soul? because they've simplified the entire process by making the essentials that every man needs in his skincare toolbox. But they have other products too, and they just recently dropped their retinol stick, which is going to be a game changer, brothers. This ultra high performance anti-aging product is packed with top-notch ingredients like retinol, hyaluronic acid, and B3, which goes by many names. It's designed to smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles, firm up your skin, and boost collagen production all while keeping your skin hydrated. Yes, there are other retinol products on the market, but as per usual, Tiege Hanley has gone above and beyond by creating theirs in a stick format. This allows it to glide on effortlessly, putting an invisible barrier to lock in all the benefits. To celebrate the launch of this product, they are giving you an extra special deal to get started. When you use my special link in the video description to buy a retinol stick, they're going to throw in a free skincare system. That's a $33 value and they're giving it to you for free, brothers. When you claim this amazing offer, you will become a Tiege Hanley member, which comes with tons of benefits and perks, including 20% off of retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, flexibility to pause or cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. So guys, if you're ready to take your skincare routine to the next level, enjoy smoother, firmer, and more youthful looking skin, this retinol stick is unbeatable. Don't miss out. Click my link in the description box and get started today. Again, brothers, it is imperative. You know, with the world being the way it is now, with, with, with the call upon us as men to move in the order that we need to move, it is imperative that if you bring a woman in your life and, and you're taking her serious, brothers, you have to know that she is down for you. And there are three ways you can find out. At, le at least there are three ways that I found out in my 47-year tenure, Right? The first one is, brother, she, she really only wants the bare minimum from you. And I know that sounds funny, but what I mean is this, brothers. You know, in a world, in a world where, where women are on the ground pretty much openly saying that a man must make X amount of dollars. A man must, must take me to five and six and nine star dinners 20 days a week. A man must, must be able to take me to this particular island 
A man must be able to buy me this particular bag. In a, in a world where that's so common, man, a woman that's really down for you, what I'm saying is all she really wants from you, man, is your quality time. All she wants from you, man, is quality time. All she wants to do really, man, is come over and be in your space. A woman that just wants to be in your space and, and, and insert herself in your life, she's down for you, bro. I'm saying if you wake up and you say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to just sit up and, uh, and, uh, and, and watch Netflix all day. I'm going to watch football all day. Or I'm going to go to the park and walk around in circles all day. Or I'm just going to get on the interstate and, and sightsee all day. She wants, she wants to be a part of that. She just wants to be in, in your space and your energy, bro. It's rare, man, that a woman just wants to be in your energy and want nothing else. And I'm saying it, man, because, because in the distant past, of course, I've dated women where every five minutes we had to be doing something. We had to be moving. We had to be at some party or some club. We had to be at some bar mixing drinks. We had to be at some big shindy because, because, because apparently she wasn't really into me. I'm, and I'm not saying that a woman can't love you and want to be in your space, but I'm talking about if she's really down, she doesn't need all of that, brothers. And at the same time, the woman that doesn't require that from you is the woman that you want to give it to. When a woman just wants to sit in your space, that's the woman you want to spoil. That's the woman you want to take to the nice restaurants, man. But I'm telling you, a woman that's down, man, she, she doesn't need all that. She doesn't desire or crave all that. You know, all she wants is, is for you to not only just let her in your space, but to, to do some of the special things she likes, man. Like, if your woman likes to go out and, and, and get coffee every few days or go to find different, you know, wine bars, coffee shops, or whatever, man, spend that, spend that time with her, bro. Spend that, that's all she requires. No big bells and whistles. No cruises to Bahamas every weekend. No trips to Miami. None of that. She just wants that quality time, man. And she just wants a little bit of attention. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the day, man, I know you're grinding, man. Pick the phone up every once in a while, bro, and, and just shoot her a text. That's all she requires. If she's really down for you, if she knows you, if she knows you're grinding. Again, man, a woman that's really down for you, bro, she she doesn't need much. And the thing is, th this is what a lot of brothers will run into. This is what I ran into, man, some years ago. I was so used to talking to women that moved in an energy that that had to be doing something. I didn't understand what was taking place when I swapped my energy up and I started entertaining women that, that didn't move like that. Or in other words, let me say it like this. When I started entertaining women that were really into me for me, you know, and I was sitting there saying, Hey, let, let, let's do this. Let, let's go to this restaurant. Let's move like this. And it was just like, women were like, well, why do you always have to be, you know, they had the, they had the, it was almost a reverse thing. Like, like I'm into you. We don't have to be doing all this stuff. We can sit there, you know, we ain't got to go to these restaurants. We, we can run up to the store and get some of the food and come home and cook. We can cook with, you know, what you got in the, in the so-and-so. We ain't got to go to the movie theater. We can Netflix and chill. We can, it's a different energy, man, when a woman is into you. And like I say, man, that's the woman that you want to, you want to show love to, man. That's, that's the woman that you want to, you, you want to spoil and, and, and take care of and provide for, bro. So the first thing is, man, she really doesn't require uh, for you to move major mountains at all times for her, man. The second thing is huge, bro. And, and this is something that, that took me a while to learn. If a woman is really down for you, she respects your grind, bro. She really respects your grind. And what I mean by that is, you know, kind of like I'm saying, like I said, you know, a woman, woman wants a little bit of attention. She wants attention. But a woman that's really down for you and respecting your grind, but that she understands that that attention is very limited. She, under, she understands, man, that there are going to be many weekends that, you know what? Yeah, I would, you know, I would love to just lay up and chill. Many weekends, man, where you're, you're tired of your computer. You're, you're tired to your, to your studio. You're tired of your pen and pad. You're tired to your craft. 
you're tied to your business or your service you're, you're offering the world. And if she's really down for you, man, she understands that. And I'm saying that, brother, because there are a lot of women that don't. There are a lot of women, man, that, that, that don't respect the hierarchy. God, purpose, man. There are a lot of women that say, you know what? Well, 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 you know, if I'm not number one, if you aren't treating me like the prize, then I'm out. And I'm telling you, brother, the first moment a woman moves like that, tell her she should be out. She should be out, bro. A woman is really down for you, man. She, she respects the grind. She understands there'll be many days, many nights, man, that you won't be available to do, to do all these extracurricular things. I know one thing, man, that's, that's a pet peeve to me, bro. This is a, this is a huge pet peeve to me, man. Like, like if I'm on the phone with, with a, with a person, not even just a woman, but if I'm on the phone with a woman and I'm in the middle of something and, and I pick the phone up and answer when I do, when I'm, when I'm working and I say, yeah, yeah, that, you know, that's what's up. and I say, hey, you know what? Let me get back to this grind. Like, like, let me get back to work. Like, like my mind is fresh on this idea. Let me get back to it before it leaves me. When I say that, man, a woman has about two minutes max. Like when I say, let me get back to this grind, that's two minute warning. Like if I got to go past two, like, like that means get it all out. That means, that means, you know what, whatever we had to talk about, whatever you want to say these last few minutes, that's your time to get it out. Once we go, once we go past two minutes, it becomes disrespectful then. It becomes disrespectful. And I'm telling you, man, I'm going to tell you my pet peeve. If I can't get out the phone with a woman, she's steady saying, oh yeah, well, let me forget about, oh, well, yeah, let me tell you about this. And I'm saying, yeah, I got to go. And she's still remembering all these things she want to tell me. That's disrespect, bro. And a woman that disrespects the grind isn't down for you. Isn't down for you. And I'm going to tell you where I learned that from, man. I learned that from my moms. My moms, man, unless I'm behind this camera, unless I'm on a call, if my mom calls, I'm picking up. I don't care if it's zero, dark 30. I don't care if it's 10 o'clock at night. And it's crazy. Every single time my mom calls, man, I answer the phone. Hello. The first thing my mom says is, hey, are you working? Like, like, or did I call it a bad time? Are you tied up right now? And if I say I'm tied up, she'll say, okay, you know what? Hit me back when you, when you get done. Like, like finish this up first. Like even my mother respects the hierarchy. You know what I'm saying? She's like, you know what? He's a man on a mission. Let me let him take care of his business. If you, if you, if you busy, call me back. And it's like if my T. Jones can respect the game, then a woman in my life has to respect it. Has to respect it, man. So, so a woman that doesn't respect you in general, man, she, she isn't down for you, bro. She isn't down for you. You know, it, it really come, a lot of it really comes down to, to respect, to be, honest, to be honest to you, brothers. And, and respect, respect can be shown in so many different ways, man. Like, like when I, I can see women in public, uh, I can see couples in public. I can see couples that I don't even know in public. And I can just notice when a woman is disrespecting a man, the way, the way she's carrying herself, the way she's interacting with other men. It's an energy. A, a, a woman that has respect for her man, it's simply an energy. And she's had, she has that energy, whether she's with her man or, or not. I can tell, I can see a woman in public without a ring on her finger. And if she, if she's moving in a certain order, I can tell that she respects her man. Just the energy she puts out. Not about her words, not about the way she walks, not even about the way she dresses. She can have six inch heels, the smallest skirt and a seat through top. If she moves in a certain order, I can still tell if she's respecting her man. I know that, that that's an exaggeration, but it's an energy, man. And either a woman has that energy or not. So again, the second thing, man, is, is if a woman respects your grind, but if she respects you in general, in general, man, a woman that, does, that doesn't respect you cannot be down for you, bro. Cannot be down for you. And the third thing, man, you know, to know that a woman is really down for you, bro. She wants to serve you. Now I'm going to pause right there, man, because I know a lot of women are like, what? Pulling the car over, looking at the phone, saying, what did he say? She wants to serve you, brothers. 
A woman that's really down for you wants to serve you. What do you mean, so? Well, I'm going to tell you, man. Serving goes both ways. When you're really down for a woman, you're serving her. Are you not taking her out to the finest restaurants? Are you not giving her the, the, the best level of massages? Are you not making her bubble baths? Are you not cooking her the occasional meal? Are you not taking her to, to, uh, uh, to certain uh, uh, places on the globe? Are you not wanting her life to be, to be better than it was before y'all met? You're serving her, bro. You're serving her. But the thing is, a lot of brothers put that energy out and, and nowadays don't even expect anything back because the world is teaching you not to expect anything back. I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. A lot of men, which we call simps nowadays, are men that, that are, are, are serving women, protecting and providing and spoiling and massaging and kissing on the neck and for women and wanting nothing in, in, in return or getting nothing in return. A woman that's really down for you wants to serve you as well. She wants to serve you. She wants to be your helpmate, bro. A woman that's really down for you, man, is inserting herself into your purpose. When she knows you move, when she knows you move in a certain way, you, you, you're working on certain projects, you have certain, you have a certain uh, 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 skill set, you have a certain job, you have a certain service you offer the world. She wants to, if she's down for you, she wants to slowly insert herself into that. Oh, you have a landscaping business? How can, how can I help you? Can I help you with your email? Can, can I show me what to do? Can I help? She's inserting herself in your life, bro. She wants to be a helpmate. She wants to please you. And when I say please, I mean on all levels. A woman takes pleasure, man, in, in, in cooking a man a meal, in giving a man a massage. And I, I know a lot of brothers, I'll say this, I, I, I can speak for myself. Like, I'm the type of person, my energy is, I, I, I'm, I'm just naturally a giver. I, I love to give more than I, I, I receive. I get more pleasure out of giving. So I had to get over this thing a while back, several years ago, man, where when women wanted to reciprocate, when a woman wanted to cook for me, when a woman wanted to give me a massage, when a wa- I was like, no, 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 we good. Let's Because I had to get out of that mindset, man. Women want to do that. Women are saying, if you do all these things for me, you're so nice, you're sweet, you're doing all these things. Like, let me give back. Let me serve you. Let, let me cook you. What's your favorite meal? What's your favorite dessert? She's asking those questions, bro. What can I cook you? What, what part hurts on you? You want me, want me to uh, you know, massage your legs? Want me to massage your back? She, she's trying to please you. Even on a sexual level, bro. She's trying to please you. That's why it's important to that's why it's important for a man to communicate with a woman. And I've said this on some older videos. Y'all brothers have to stop being scared of your sexuality. Every man has some form, shape, fashion of some fetish. Every man has some of y'all brothers are in the earlobes and elbows, man. If that's your thing, let your woman know. Hey, you know what? I mean, I like this part about you. Your elbows are hot to me. Your neck is hot to me. Your earlobes are hot to me. Your forehead is so sexy to me. I'm going to tell you what she's going to do when you do that. During the day, when you're on the grind, you're going to be getting these pictures of that shiny forehead or whatever your thing is, man. Because she wants to, she wants to, she wants to please you. When you wake up in the morning, you're going to be getting these photos on your, on your, she wants to please you, man. You have to understand that a woman that's really down for you wants to please you, bro. Wants to please you. She wants to buy you gifts. Now, most men, most men that I know, man, they're one of their, you know, love top love languages is acts of service. You know, acts of service, meaning, you know, you, you know, you get, you get a lot of fulfillment or you, you know, the way you love to receive love is people doing, doing acts of service for you, man. And, and when a woman, when a woman does the smallest thing for you, brother, you gotta understand, let me say this, brother. 
and this is something a lot of women women don't don't are completely against. You have to understand man, that a lot of women not only want to do small things for you, but a lot of women want to want to want to buy you gifts, man. This was something I was completely against uh, uh, several years ago. I can remember going several birthdays, several Christmases, and a woman I was dating, I was like, don't, don't, don't get me nothing. But again, it was a woman being able to show me that, hey, you know what? Let me reciprocate. Let me, I'm going to tell you, a woman, a woman that can come out, come out of her pocket for you, oh, she's down, bro. And I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about taking you to some, I'm not talking about taking you to the Super Bowl. I'm saying if a woman can come out of your pocket and spend $5 and bring you a, 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 a Coke and candy from, uh, from the gas station. She can take you to, you know, you know, a, a $14 movie. Brother, that goes a long way for a lot of us men. A woman that ain't down for you, brother, she ain't, she ain't breaking $1 for you. She's not breaking $1 for you, man. So a woman, a woman that says, you know what, baby, let me, let me, let me buy you a coffee. Let me cash up you some money for a coffee today. Oh, she's down for you, bro. She's down for you. Oh, you going out with the boys tonight? You know what? Let me send you, let me send you $15. First drink on me for you, babe. You worked hard all week. She's down for you, bro. So again, man, you know, with the world doing what it's doing, man, we, we as men have to move in a certain order. And if we must move in this certain order, if we, if, if we must take this, this particular journey, then the women we have on our team, man, we, we can't afford to have a woman that's taking us in the wrong direction. It's not, it's not even optional at this point, bro. So again, if you entertain a woman nowadays, man, you must make sure she's down. Brothers, don't forget about the amazing deal at Tiege Hanley. Click that link and get started today.